Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey and other actors from House of Cards were here at the National Portrait Gallery in Washington for the premiere of season four. We were on the red carpet for all of the action. The last time we spoke, you talked about super PACs and how you were against their influence on the political process and money in general. And when did we last talk? When did I say this? Uh, you said that during Abramoff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so I wanted to ask you what you thought about Trump self-financing and kind of removing himself from that system. I'm not going to get involved in real politics. You know, when I did that Abramoff movie, I think that anyone um, has talked a great deal about about. Um, the influence that money's had in politics, and I and I hope that we can get to a point where that starts to change. Thank you. A, a prominent Hollywood writer recently tweeted, actually it was yesterday, that tr all the people at his table at a dinner mm -hmm. were Trump supporters, but they didn't want to really tell people. They said, oh, "I would Is never he in say California that publicly." This? He's in uh, in Hollywood. He's in. Uh, yeah, he. He put wow. this on on Twitter, so it was all over the place yesterday. They are supporting. Are supporting at his table, I and they're in a closet. They're in the closet the about it. Yes. Do you see that? You think that's true? No one, no one around me is in the closet. No one. I just like bring it out, be who you are. More the merrier. You know, I have no idea. I, I, you know, I. I, I don't understand politics, but I certainly don't understand the entertainment business and like what people are interested and not interested in. It is a varied uh, group of people. It is a it is a quagmire of ideas. Um, I could certainly see people doing just about anything from the entertainment business. Uh, so I have no idea. Really, you want to ask an actor what their political preferences are? <laughs> I, I'm leaning towards Bernie. Really? Mm, yeah. What attracts you to this campaign? I don't want to get into my politics, if that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of celebrities come to D.C. for a cause. They come to Capitol Hill, meet with lawmakers. Is there a specific cause you're involved in with now, and would Senator Sanders, for example, since you mentioned him, be good for that cause? Well, possibly. I'm, my partner, J.J. Field, and I are writing a series about the VA. So I have a very, very strong feelings about what's going on with the VA and about the soldiers today and how they're being taken care of and the lack thereof. So. I think people have to get m more involved sooner and probably at a more local level. I mean, we love the thing that, you know, um, the... Sorry, forgive me, but corporate media sets up, which is like, oh, this guy versus this guy, you know, this MSNBC versus Fox News, and like, that's a good for them, and the, on a national level, it means, means something huge, but, you know, who's on your school board? Do you know who's on your school board? And you can vote for that person, and you can, like, get involved in knowing that. Now, again, that's a lot of work, and people are busy, and it's crazy, so, I don't know. I mean... I mean, that leads me to think, though, that, that some, I don't know, that, for instance, an election day should be a holiday. Well, that's not true here, and that's true other places. It should just be a damn holiday where people don't work, where you, you can vote or you can sit on your butt and not vote, but still you have the time and, you know, eventually you're going to know everybody's out there voting. What am I doing? Maybe. In Washington, I'm Nicholas Ballacy. I have a profession. I, I work every day as an actor. I'm not a celebrity.